In today's video, I prepared this beautiful bunch of phones to test the battery performance after several years of use. The first and the oldest on the list is this iPhone XS with this special gold color. After connecting to the PC on the 3U Tools app, the device shows 1786 charging cycles, which means it has been used for about 5 years. The second on the list is its successor in the Max variant. It has 1504 charging cycles that is for years of use. We go to the next category and we have this iPhone 11 which has only 812 charging cycles that is two and a half years of use. Follows the Max version of the iPhone 11 which has 1364 charging cycles approximately three and a half years of use. We move on to the newer models in the list and now follows this iPhone 12 mini which has 611 charging cycles that is a year and a half of use. In the simple version, the iPhone 12 follows, which also has a special color, and comes with 1200 charging cycles, around 3 years and 3 months of use. And finally, the last and newest phone in the list is this beautiful iPhone 13, which has 486 charging cycles, therefore it has a year and 3 months of use. In order for the test to be as relevant as possible, all devices are reset and have the same settings. Auto brightness is off. All run on the latest software update. Some of these devices are quite old but all have the original batteries. The brightness of all phones will be around 90% during the test. We will find out together which model is worth buying after this comparison. Next to each model, I will list the battery health in the order in which they will close. Let the test begin. In the first phase, the phones will have their screens turned on with a static image for one hour. After the first 60 minutes, it seems that the iPhone 13 is in first place, losing 8% of its capacity, and the last place is the iPhone XS which lost 15%, and the others are quite close with small differences. Now, let's move on to the second phase, which consists in playing a high-resolution video in full-screen mode with the volume at half. After two hours, the trend is maintained, the iPhone XS seems to lose autonomy quite quickly. Very close to this is the iPhone 11, 12 mini and 12. The iPhone 13 remains in first place, losing 21%. An important consumer that drains the battery quickly is the camera, used by each of us almost daily. In the next hour I will run the test with the front and rear cameras turned on, in video recording mode. After 30 minutes I switch to the front camera, also in video mode. The only devices with more than 50% battery after 3 hours of testing are the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 13. In last place, as it has been until now, is the iPhone XS, which has 36% left. At the beginning, I showed you the charging cycles, now I will present you the health of the battery. As it shows in the settings, the health is at 79% and is significantly degraded. The next device after this is the iPhone 12 mini which has 43% left after the 3 hours. The performance up to this moment is satisfactory. Battery health is at 84%. I try to replicate in this test some of the activities that we use in everyday life. The time is approaching when some of the devices will power off. If you want to buy one of these models this year, after watching this clip you will be able to draw conclusions that will help you make the right decision. In the next hour I will leave the phones with a static white image. After 4 hours of operation, the devices have the following results. The iPhone XS has 12% of the remaining battery, the XS Max has 21%, the iPhone 11 has 29%, the 11 Pro Max has 32%, the 12 Mini has 25%, the iPhone 12 has 24% and the iPhone 13 with the best autonomy has 45% from the battery left. Next, the video will run on the screens again at high resolution in full screen mode, but this time without volume. And here we are at the first phone that went off. This is the iPhone XS that lasted 4 hours and 41 minutes. Considering the age of this model, I can say that it heroically resisted almost 5 hours. If you are thinking of buying this model this year, you will have an autonomy of approximately 5 hours of continuous use. The rest of the devices successfully passed the 5 hour threshold. 4 of them have a little battery left and are going to stop at any moment.
Let's see the health of the batteries of these models that are about to close. iPhone 12 has 78% health. iPhone XS Max has 79% health. iPhone 11 has 87% health. The second phone that shuts down is the iPhone 12 mini which lasted 5 hours and 24 minutes. A great result. After a few seconds, the iPhone 12 follows, which is the third phone. At 5 hours and 32 minutes, the fourth phone that loses the battle follows, which is the iPhone 11. The autonomy of this model, which has a battery health of 87%, is good, and it belongs to the models that are worth buying this year. Despite the fact that the iPhone XS Max is quite old and the battery has low health, it lasted 5 hours and 34 minutes, qualifying as one of the models that are still worth buying. The iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 13 are still in the fight. Next, I will alternate between videos and the screen with a static image until they close as well and we will draw the final conclusions. The penultimate phone that has completely discharged is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which has a battery health of 78%. With a duration of 6 hours and 33 minutes of operation in the conditions presented, from my point of view it is a good choice even if it is a little older. The last one, and the one with the longest duration of use, is the iPhone 13, which has a battery health of 87%. Let's see how long the battery will last. Let's summarize the performance of the phones until the last one closes. The iPhone XS, used every day for the last 5 years, lasted 4 hours and 41 minutes. Next on the list is the iPhone 12 mini which lasted 5 hours and 24 minutes. This phone has been used for a year and a half since it was bought. Also the iPhone 12 had a usage time during the test, the same as the iPhone 12 mini, being better by a few seconds. The next phone that lost the battle was the iPhone 11 with the result of 5 hours and 32 minutes. At a short distance is the iPhone XS Max which lasted 5 hours and 34 minutes. The penultimate one that resisted quite well is the iPhone 11 Pro Max with an autonomy of 6 hours and 33 minutes of operation. And now, the winner of this test, which is also the newest of all devices, is the iPhone 13, which lasted 7 hours and 44 minutes. You may be wondering if it is worth changing the batteries on previous phones, and for that I have prepared a video that will help you understand the difference between an aftermarket battery kit battery and the original one. Thanks for watching.